Hello there everybody, my name is Chris Shadow Logs to Board Built for Theme Park News and welcome to another Theme Park News Room update. This is from Yomi Yori Land in Tokyo, Japan. And this is on a brand new roller coaster set to come to the park in 2021. We'll be sharing concept art and my thoughts on it because I, I, I've got some interesting thoughts about this. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the location bell so you don't miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, family and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this news update. So, this is Space Factory. This is an inverted roller coaster. But before we get started with all that, let's talk to you about the park itself. For those of you who don't know, so Yomi Yori Land is in Tokyo, Japan. And basically, this has four roller coasters existing already. Obviously, by 2021, it will be five. Uh, the two co the, the four coasters they've got already, they've got a kids' coaster. Then above that, they've got a Gerslas spinning coaster. And then the two extreme coasters, as listed on RCDB, uh, Bandit, which is a Togo sit-down. And then they've also got a Togo stand-up coaster, so two Togo extreme coasters there. Now, this new coaster is not manufactured by Togo at all, but it is an inverted roller coaster. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you some concept art on your screen now. Fando Bidozzi. So while we have a nosy at the train arrangement, which is the only other thing mentioned on RCDB. So single car trains, riders are arranged two across in two rows for a total of four riders per car. Sounds very B&M like, but from the look of the track, it definitely isn't B&M standard or anything like that. It definitely isn't a and m uh, But either way, I think this is going to be brilliant. I, I, I just, I've just got this feeling that this is going to be... Uh, um, a good coaster, and I mean a really good coaster, and I think um, there's real potential here. So, uh, as you can see on the concept art, it seems to be mainly an indoor coaster with an outdoor section. It'll be interesting to see how good the theming is, and it, this will be part of a whole new land focusing on families. So, uh, the name Space Factory, again, immediately says a sci-fi futuristic theme. Uh, now, the new factory land is already there with buildings for car factory, food factory, and fashion factory all containing rides. So, it will make sense that this will be added to the factory area of the park. So, this will become Space Factory. So, the other factories are heavily sponsored. So, uh, we assume that this is going to be uh, a sponsored ride as well, or a sponsored area. Now, look at the track and cars. This could be a suspender family coaster by Intamin. Or it could be Mac Ride. I don't know. You see, see if you can make out from the concept art on your screen at the minute. Do you think it'll be Intamin or Mac? Comment down below and I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. But as you saw on the concept art uh, just then, uh, just very, very good ride. I think this is going to be a good project for the park. I think that having two Togo's extreme coasters, a Gerslar Spinner and a Kids Coaster by a Japanese manufacturer, uh, I think that this is going to be a welcome addition, especially if it's Intamin or Mac. I think that having a big manufacturer in the world of amusement rides and attractions like Intamin or Mac, whoever it is, I think will definitely put the park on the map. Um, from the concept art, it's very, very weird, but... You know, j people say Japan is all weird, you know, um, very, very weird and sort of creepy anime style work. Uh, <laughs> but I tell you what, I think the theming around the ride is good. I spotted uh, a couple of Ziera family drop towers uh, in the concept art as well. So uh, looks like it won't be just the coaster going in or if they're still there, I don't know. Comment down below if it's already there, uh, Japanese viewers. Uh, but I just wanted to personally share my thoughts. It's not the longest update in the world, but it's just to sort of announce this coaster uh, and get and give it the news coverage it deserves over here in uh, in mainland Europe. Well, I should say the UK now because we've left Europe. Damn Brexit. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, uh, I, overall, my my first thoughts and reactions to this coaster is very positive. I think that uh, it's kooky, it's fun, it's unique, it's definitely for the family market. I love that it's mainly an indoor roller coaster. I like how it's just got the outdoor section. It's going to be mainly an indoor roller coaster. I like that. I like that about this coaster. And I think that uh, the theming around the ride is going to be good. The sponsorship, I'm a little worried about, as you know, intellectual properties and sponsorships not a massive fan of them in the community but you know once they're done right then they're good ips if they're done right they're good ips if not they're bad ips uh, and sponsorships but hopefully they can sponsor this ride as well as the other rides 
uh, in Yomiuri land. Weird part name to get my head around. Uh, it's in Tokyo, so uh, this will be, you know, a you know a year after the Tokyo Olympics. This is going to be the the next big thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, but no, I think that uh, it gives people an excuse to go to this park. I think that. The other four coasts are fantastic additions to the park as well, so I think you should definitely check this park out and try and book tickets as quick as possible. But I would hold off until 2021 personally for this brand new roller coaster and see when it opens. But yeah, very exciting indeed. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news and update on Yomi Yori Land and their brand new inverted roller coaster space factory. Like I said, we're going to give more details when we get them. So for now, guys, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Aaron Chano. You've been watching Coast our YouTube channel, keep on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next update very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.